Hey Aquarius, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot. Welcome to your energy reading. Let's get started with a few oracles to see which direction this is going. What's the energy of Aquarius? And we have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So there could be something, pride can be a good or bad thing. I think you should be, you know, proud of yourself. Um, but sometimes your pride can get in the way of connecting with others. Let's see what else we have. Okay. We have freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. So pride and freedom. You know, freedom is about feeling open to being yourself. And this could be self-imposed things. This could be about not being your authentic self out of pride, right? Not being able to, it changes your perspective. But let's see exactly how this is playing out for you. Why is pride here for Aquarius? We have the Ace of Swords, clarity of belief. What else do we have? We have the Justice card, Detach. And we have 111. I be seeing a 111 all the time, so um, 111 may be something um, significant to you. And we have the Strength card. And I did shuffle these, but the Strength card came out in the same position for Libra. Okay, so for freedom, why do we have freedom here for Aquarius? And we have the Seven of Pentacles, awaiting results. Okay, and we have the Five of Pentacles, feeling alone. And we have the Five of Swords, win or lose. Okay. So I feel like in regard to pride, I feel like there is going to be some new challenge that's going to come into play. And I almost feel like this is something, this could be almost like a task that you've been given at work or something where you've kind of had have to swallow your pride a little bit just to get it done. And I feel like there's a need to look at this from a different perspective and recognize that it's something that is going to actually better you in the long run. There is this butterfly, there is transformation happening. There's clarity about, it's going to help you hone in on what do you truly believe about yourself, what do you truly believe about your reality? Okay. And then we have justice. And this could be that you're dealing with a Libra, but doesn't have to be. And I get that there is this balance that's needed. It's about being present and not detaching, but also detaching from the outcome, not trying to be so controlling of the outcome. And I feel like that's where this comes in, this strength card. It says control. So I feel like sometimes there's a need to show inner strength by, by restraining yourself in certain situations and being able to see that. See where, and right below it, we have this win or lose. See what, what battles do you need to engage in and what which ones can you sit out that are not going to better the situation, bring about a solution or or something to move you forward? If this is just going to be about 
battling for no reason. It could be arguments with somebody. It could be um, really trying to prove a point to somebody and it may not get you anywhere. Okay. So it's about recognizing that having that inner strength to say, you know what, this isn't going to help anybody. So let me just back down. Sometimes you have to back down. Okay. So with the seven of pentacles awaiting results, there is this need for recognizing patience. Okay. And I feel like this, okay. So this coming out next to freedom, you may feel stuck. Like this is where you've invested all of your time and I can't bring myself to, you know, move to new ground here. Um, and I feel like that is something and I, okay. So <laughs> let me start over, not start over, but I feel like this is in relation to a job. And I feel like there's something that is just not giving you the financial freedom or the freedom to really um, make decisions. It could be making decisions at your job. I really feel like this is job related. Doesn't have to be. Apply it to your situation, um, however it resonates. But I feel like there is a fear here. There's a fear that you this it, this investment that you have um, put in so much time and energy at this particular company or this particular position, and you're feeling like you're not sure if it's going to pay off. There's also fear in here that you don't have enough. Okay, it's like a financial. Um, scarcity. You feel like, um, you know, you're, you're taking on a lot on your shoulders and you're feeling kind of alone and like, there's no one there to support you. But I feel like there is, I feel like there is support. And I feel like you're creating this battle within your mind and know that there are people supporting you and that you don't have to do things on your own and really looking at, you know what, um, how can I be grateful for all the abundance that I do have? Because that's how I'm going to draw in more abundance. How can I be grateful for the position I am in? Because leaving and going to another company is you're going to bring all of this same energy to that new company, right? Or a new, a new position. So clearing through those things. And then it's either going to do two things. It's going to either make you really appreciate the job that you do have and be able to put more of yourself into it in a more fulfilling way, or it's going to open up opportunities for you. But I feel like this is something you should do now prior to just leaving a situation. All right, so let's get some clarity here. Why do we have this Ace of Swords here for Aquarius? And we have the Fool card. So I definitely see that it would be good to... Some of the same cards came out um, for Libra, whether it was this deck or this clarifying deck. So the Fool came out in this position, but it was this deck. Um, so you might want to watch that reading as well. But this is about recognizing that it may be time to go on a new path. But like I said, I feel like there is a need for balance and really restraint so that you can get through some of these internal issues before you move forward because you will just bring that same energy to a new job. Oops. Oh, we got two cards here. Okay, we get the Eight of Wands and the Four of Wands coming out over this Justice card. So I feel like you are being called into action here. There is positive movement forward and it is going to bring you to a very stable place. Okay, if this is not work, this could be about um, letting your guard down, this pride guard down, and you could be looking at a, an, an engagement or marriage but this is what it's bringing you to. So this justice balance 
is okay let me just pull these here so it's it's like you see these doves here doves here and I just feel like let's see if I'm getting it in the picture um, I just feel like there is a need for internal balance um, working on yourself without any expectation of how it will play out because this could be um, it's about getting that internal balance and not concerning yourself with how that's going to be rewarded in a sense right so why is the strength card here for Aquarius so this could be like I said new job could be a new house could be a proposal um, or a wedding and it could also be um, celebrating an anniversary but I do feel like spirit is saying it's a new path okay why is this strength here and we have the Queen of Wands. So it could be dealing with a Leo. We have Leo here twice. So I feel like this is um, this is about sometimes creating within. And then the Queen, I always go back to this like magnetism. I mean, it's like she draws things to her. So it's about taking this new path. But it's going to be something that is drawn to you. Okay, and it is about getting your confidence straight, right? Like getting your getting strong within, and that's what's going to draw in this new opportunity or this new path, even in love. Okay. Oops, kind of jarred everything here. So why is the seven of pentacles here for Aquarius? And we have temperance. So it says waiting results. So I feel like, um, you know, temperance can be about patience as well. But it's about recognizing the um, temperance to me is a rep recognizing other energies that are going to come into play. And I feel like this is spiritual energy. Yes, you've put in investments and it. You will receive the payoff. That's what the justice card is about about balancing balance in the universe whether it but it's a it's about being patient but also um being aware of the divine timing of things okay that divine energy involved okay that's what i'm trying to say all right so why is this five of pentacles here and we have the Eight of Cups. So you're definitely considering leaving this if it is a job or a relationship. But I feel like it is a job because it's coming out on the Five of Pentacles. And so I feel like you're very much considering that. And what I feel like Spirit is saying is, yes, this is the path that we have for you. So that to bring about more fulfillment, more rewards, um, more abundance. However doing that internal work prior to that so that you're not taking with you those energies because if you notice he's leaving behind he's taking a path and he's leaving behind all this stuff behind and this could be all people he cares about but this situation is not bringing you fulfillment so it's about recognizing that you need to move on from that that but you also it, it may be painful but it's about doing that internal work, building your strength to know when it's time, right? Your temperance is your time, but also drawing the opportunity into in that is going to bring you fulfillment, if that makes sense. All right. So why is this five of swords here? And we have the eight of pentacles. Okay, so what I'm getting here is there could be a person or a situation that has caused you a lot of conflict at your current job. 
And I feel like it's kind of like put your nose down and keep working because you're going to keep working towards what you're trying to manifest, which is perfecting your craft and being a true master of your craft and not let this drama, because this is kind of like drama for no reason, um, suck you in. And I also get that this is, you know, this is about having confidence within yourself and the inner strength to detach from worrying about other people getting um, karma or whatever, if that makes sense. So it's like, allow the universe to deal with that person, detach from, from any kind of worry or revenge feelings, right? This is about your positive movement forward towards stability and um, acknowledgement. Yep. Okay, let's get some, uh, let's get a guardian angel card to see what's going on here. Guardian angel. What message do you have for Aquarius? Okay. And we have prayer. Dear guardian angel, help me to be flexible in my attitudes and beliefs. Help me not to fear the transient nature of life. Help me to remember the eternal light which emanates from my soul and the eternal light which emanates from the heart of every living thing. Help me to remember that I am eternally guided and loved by God and all creation. Amen. That's beautiful. Okay, so let's get some daily healing um, cards to close this out for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? Okay, and this is the card. And it says, create healthy boundaries with those around you. So this could be about you, you know, having boundaries, but getting clear on that in, in the sense so that it, when you do move on to this new job or new relationship, I really feel like it's job, but for some of you, it may be relationship. It's about being very clear to not make the same mistake because, you know, what is your part in this? Okay. And doing that internal work to recognize how did I draw in these particular kinds of people or this particular kinds of treatment um, and creating healthy boundaries. So this may be, I feel like if this is work, this is about, you know, you could be somebody that just gives your all. And sometimes all we're doing is putting ourselves in the position to be taken advantage of. So creating clear boundaries, I feel like this is especially true for anyone that's working at home because you can end up working, um, you know, 10, 15 hour days just because you're home and you're available, right? So I feel like this is really about getting clear on what you're willing to give for what they are willing to pay you and, and recognize that it is an exchange and it needs to be balance. Like you can't give more than what you're receiving. You just can't. And I know it's hard, but you, you just can't. All right. What else do we have? Okay. So we have this one here. It's like little spider webs with water on it. Um, distinguish the importance of your inner spiritual work from outer success. I mean, this couldn't fit with this any more clearly, especially if this is work. You know, um, it's about not seeking that validation from outside and doing the inner work and making that a success. That's where you're going to feel true fulfillment and um, be proud of yourself without expecting that outside acknowledgement to validate you, you know? Anything else for Aquarius? Okay. 
have these beautiful pink flowers, fuchsia, whatever it's. Let love be your motivation for action. Perfect. All right, those are the messages that came through for you. And I appreciate you watching. You know I do. Thank you so much. Remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.